What's going on guys? Welcome to Tackle to the People, the only fishing channel where we unbox, test, and give lures right back to you guys. You voted for it, so for the next four videos, we're doing a Rapala series, exploring a few different hard baits by this highly reputable company. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that notification bell and sub to the channel. At the end of the video, I'll also announce the winner of the Amazon Plopper. But without further ado, let's get into it. Rapala arguably has some of the most popular jerk baits on the market, and today we're looking at an unconventional lure they make called the Jointed Minnow, aka J9. It advertises itself as targeting neutral fish and triggering strikes when other lures would spook, but we'll see if that's true later. Retail, this goes for $8 to $9, depending on where you're shopping. And this particular version is 1 quarter ounce and 3.5 inches. But enough of the nerdy stuff, let's open this up and see what it looks like. First impressions is that the lure is obviously very high quality. The joint feels sturdy and the lure body has the classic Rapala lightweight plastic. The paint job is precise as always, and you can see the great level of detail they go through to paint that rainbow trout pattern. There's nothing much else to say apart from that, you and I both know Rapala is the goat of jerk baits, but it's time to put this jointed action to the test and see if it catches fish. What is up guys? It's a beautiful misty morning here in Massachusetts. We got this jointed Rapala. Oh, there's already fish feeding. I can hear them. Not a bad one. Nice. There it is. First one on the jointed Rapala. Little one pounder. Nothing to call home about. Looks like the fog's clearing up, which is honestly good for this lure. I mean, I would kill to throw like a choppa right now in the fog. It's like the perfect conditions where they hunt based off of the sound. There's one. Looks like a pickerel. Yep, that it is. Aggressive. not a bad size one. Yeah, it's not a bad one at all. I get a lot of questions about pike. These guys are in the pike family, but they're not technically considered pike. Okay. Here we are. Not a bad size chain pickerel. Look at those teeth. Yeah, let's get him back in the water. Look at this. The action's pretty good, isn't it? I mean, so far I'm, uh, all these hits, the last two hits actually, were just off of a slow retrieve like this. But you, you know, you, you can treat it like a jerk bait. I'm actually not the biggest fan of jerk baits. It's just not my personal preference. I know that people catch fish on them. So I'm saying, oh, there's one. It's a small bass. Yep. Another little guy. Later, buddy. Crappie. Look at that. Crappie hit the Rapala. Here we 
we go. A little crappie. Just did a catch and cook video with these guys, so. Make sure you guys check out their short if you haven't already. See you, buddy. That was sick. He smoked it and then dived immediately. Not a very big fish, but smoked it. That was awesome. Got a lot of ambition, little guy. Thanks. Oh, these pads are jacking me up. Tighten this drag. There it is. Not the biggest fish, but those pads jacked me up good. Thanks, buddy. Skimming pads is honestly a great strategy in the summer. Because you know if it's hot, you know, they're gonna be hugging plants, they're gonna be hugging cover when it's sunny. Super subtle lead. Look at that. Hit it right near the kayak. See you, buddy. All right guys, that wraps it up for this week's video. Obviously this jointed Rapala does work, catches fish. Caught three different species today. Um, crappie, pickerel, and bass. And all of them seem to like that jointed action. So yeah, let's get back to the video and I'll tell you guys exactly how to get yourself one of these for the giveaway. Welcome back guys. If you made it this far in the video, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps out with that YouTube algorithm. First, let's announce the winner of the Amazon Plopper giveaway. Remember, in order to be eligible for any giveaway, you have to be a subscriber with the bell tick, leave a comment on the video that week, and share this video with just one other person. One more thing, make sure in privacy settings you make sure subscribers are public, otherwise I won't be able to tell whether or not you're subscribed to my channel. But without further ado, the winner of the Amazon Plopper is... Daniel Hendrick. Congratulations. You guys know the drill. In order to redeem your prize, DM me on Instagram and Fishbrain within 72 hours. If I don't hear from you within that time frame, I'll have to select another winner. So don't forget to hit me up. We're doing this every single week this summer, so last week's giveaway is still running. Make sure you check it out. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, pay it forward.